Cyrus and your boy Fives, man. What's going on? So, what y'all want to talk about today, man? You know, we've been talking, we've been programming before, you know what I mean? So, we can go into some stories that we have and what happened in our life, and then we can get some insights and provide. And we can, act we can actually give like some feedback too, as well, like from every everyone else's stories, you know what I mean? So, that'll be good, you know what I mean? We also talk about uh, that book that you've been reading too. Oh yeah, Shadow Work Journal, man. It's the one, man. If you really want to dig into your conscious and really try to improve yourself to attain any goal that you got in life, I highly recommend this. And just to understand how people work and to better understand how the world works around you, so Shadow Work Journal. Give them an example. What what was we just talking about? As far as that, uh, everyone has their own persona and ego that they carry on as a human. You know what I mean? And it has a lot, a lot to do. Like even for me personally, I used to always carry this big ego problem with uh, where I come from and who I am as a person based on the city I'm from. So, you know, but you gotta really dig into your inner self. And I'm comfortable. You gotta be comfortable with your body. So comfortable with yourself so to be comfortable with your body is not just to be comfortable physically with your body mentally as well so yeah shout out work journal and the great question to ask yourself is who are you without, without where you're from where, where how you came up you feel me everything you know like who who what's it what's your true self right. okay my question to you is how we were talking about egos right so how are you gonna know if you have a good ego and then a bad ego like what's the difference i mean for you for me personally and for anyone that's watching i honestly think that you need to take accountability and really look at yourself from an outside perspective looking in um i can say that back then i used to always be in denial of my ego and i would not take accountability when i was in the wrong and i would use my ego as an excuse for example if someone were to tell you let's backtrack a little bit so like how cyrus said that who are you without all this stuff that happened in your life right or just where you come from and all that that goes down to your mannerisms like how you are are you a nice person are you a kind person are you a generous person right mm -hmm. now ego can get in the way as if if i have a lot of jewelry and if i have some money and i see someone that doesn't have um that those physical Material. materials and they're trying to preach to me about wealth i could be egotistical by denying it just because i don't see it in them that's my ego coming into play or if i see someone talking but they're from a different type of sect of what i come from I don't take in consideration just because my ego is in the way. Okay. So you really got to hold yourself accountable with your ego. And then good ego could be, this is my brother right here. And I know that he's good, but there's some areas that he could work on. Okay. My ego, knowing that he has good work ethic installed in him, will try to push him to do harder. You know what I mean? It has to go with your ego. But a good ego to have is that you, if you if you know deep down inside within yourself that you're a hardworking person, you're an honest person, and if you make a mistake, you're willing to own up to it. That's a good type of ego to have. Have that ego. So if someone tries to come at you in a manner or shape that will be sideways, so to speak, you can have that good ego to back your own claim. You know, yeah, and it's not it's not it's not even like trying to be boastful or arrogant. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? At the point, there's a there's a there's a correct manner on how to address anything. So just to go back to the shadow work journal, it has to do with how to address any situation that you have. You know what I mean? If you have a lot, like for me personally, I used to always be like, you know what? This is just how it is, the environment I come from. Yeah. No, it's not. It's really not. 80, 90% of it has to do with my own mindset and my own traumas that I haven't healed from. So, yeah. Yeah, one thing I heard is um, it's not where you started, it's where you end up, right? That's facts, bro. 
Like, we come from poverty, you come from, you feel me, ground zero. But that's not, that's not true, right? It's basically every decision you make, every decision you made in life has led you up to this exact moment right now. Right? Yes. So if you're successful is because you did things in the past that can get you right here. If you, if you bro, you feel me, you're like 40 years old, still running the streets, it's because you're not taking the steps to be great, right? So I, I know somebody that uh, 40 years old, still trying to run the streets, got kids, right? And I'm looking at that like, you know what? Never hate on the next man. Either be inspired by them or learn from their mistakes, you feel me? So, that, so that, that's one thing I learned, bro. It's like, you're going to either be inspired by somebody or you're going to learn from their mistakes. Yeah. That's a good thing to do. And we in our prime years right now, so it's perfect to set the foundation for the future. Yeah, exactly. that's true. And a prime example I can say is right now, I just got out of court, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know I, mean? I can't just say that, oh, well, um, all this stuff happened because... It's just it's just the way it is, man. I come from this this city is ghetto like that. The cops going they're gonna try to someone's gonna try to at least no, that's my ego. If something's gonna happen, like that it's bound to happen. I'm up. And that that's another lesson right there, right? Say whatever you want to court for, right? Either you gonna do the same mistake or you gonna tie the nut, right? And and move correctly and learn from that mistake. Because yep. most people gonna look that look at that as a loss, right? But us, bro, PMP, progress not perfection, bro. PMP, man. We look at every loss, bro. It's not a loss as long as you turn it into a lesson. <laughs> right. I just got a car. I'm happy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm happy. I got a car. A smile on my face. I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed to have an opportunity to even correct my wrong. You know what I mean? Like, if I made it wrong, I'm going to admit to it. Even if I, even, let's say, like, even speaking so I wasn't in the wrong in my court case, but still, you know what I mean? Like, I am blessed to have the opportunity to realize that life can take a turn up, like, for the worse mm -hmm. in the flip of a dime, you know what I'm saying? So now, knowing that I don't want to put myself in a position again where I got to go back to another courtroom, you know what I mean? Or any mishaps that I know, and it starts back from the very beginning, even before we did this podcast. How to clean the whip up, you know what I mean? I don't want to constantly have to clean the whip up, you know what I mean? Now I can let my ego get in the way by me cleaning up the car up and be like, you know what, man? Why my bros had to do it on my whip, you know what I mean? No, that's the wrong type of mentality and wrong type of ego to have. You gotta take accountability. Yeah, man, my car is my car is dirty, and it's all about your mind span pers perspective on stuff. Like my car is dirty, let me clean it up. So then let me have everything looking nice. So next time when we do something like this on my A game, you know what I'm saying? I'm on point, you know? So that's basically it. And when it comes to, uh, all the, um, yeah, your ego, good ego, bad ego, you know, it, it has to do a lot with how you take and receive feedback and not just feedback from human to another human in the world. You know what I mean? Well, they call it constructive criticism. Constructive, yeah, constructive criticism. criticism. Right, because yeah. somebody could be like, hey, Cyrus, you over here fucking up, and I could be like, take like, man, why you why you hating, why you doing this? Or I could take like, thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me know, so now I can do better, you feel me? Yeah. And going back, as far as the car, a little side note, um, there's a thing called like the five minute rule, right? Yeah. If you could, and this applies to anything in life, if you could finish it in five minutes, uh, do it, right? Yeah. Don't don't say, oh, I'll do it later. If you can finish in five minutes, do it, right? That could be like, I don't know, something at work, you feel me? Something in school, yeah. you feel me? Something cleaning the room, cleaning the car. If it, if it takes five minutes, bro, hand, handle it right there and then, you know what I mean? Yeah, don't let it linger on. Yeah, because... Might as well get out the way. Yeah. And then you're just going to start procrastinating. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then you're doing something else, and you just... All over the one last thing I want to know when it comes to ego, you got to you gotta realize that you got to be the first one to put down your ego to see if someone else is willing to put down their ego. Like me, like even us just coming from like a urban neighborhood, like an urban environment, a lot of people, you're going to have a lot of ego, egotistical issues, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. let's say like if you have a disagreement or something, you got to look at the problem, not at the person. 
you know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, damn, like, back then, my thing was, oh, I got to stay on, on guard because yeah. this dude knows me and he knows how I am and I know how he is. Well, or even, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm proud to announce that, like, that I broke that barrier when it came to me and Cyrus. Like, I'll be like, you know what? Let me, this is not nothing to do with, oh, well, Cyrus knows how I am. I done got in fights in school and all this and that. And I know how Cyrus is because all this stuff and what he's attached to and, I don't want to seem like I'm less than by taking in what he has to say or addressing the situation or let me just back off it and then leave it at that. No, you got to let that ego out the way in order to actually build and continue to grow. Because if, if not, bro, you're going you gonna to get stuck in what I like to call like a high school phase. Because I feel like in high school, like that, that was the type of stuff that, that a lot of people face like as young men. But then you a boy, you know what I'm saying, you're not a man yet. And then in order to become a man, you got to learn and choose to learn and actually acknowledge that not everything that everyone's doing should be taken as disrespect. You know what I mean? Oh, I, mean, you know, I learned that something. My bad, I don't mean no, to cut no, you off. Wait, wait. I learned something this week, and with me, I believe God works through people, right? One of the, uh, the co-workers, he's new. For some reason, he came up to me, just started talking to me about the four agreements, talking about emotions 2.0. I'll, I'll send you all that. One thing he told me was, don't take nothing personal. Yeah. He says, um, always say thank you, always forgive, you feel me? And, and yeah, just don't take nothing personal, right? To say somebody, like, calls me out my name, right? Mm -hmm. All right. There's nothing I can do about it. And prevention is key too, right? Because somebody calls me out of my name and I got to get something going for myself. I get in a fight with him, right? Now I go to jail, I throw away my whole life, bro. Over what? Because somebody called me exactly, out of my name? Bro. Yeah. Yeah, those type of things, bro. What will Money Man say? He says the, the square bears are winning nowadays, bro. Like, we ain't trying to be on no game banging, bro. We ain't trying to push nothing. We we just trying to, we, we got our own careers going. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And we just trying to evolve, right? Yeah. And that's for the young people. The young people gonna think, oh yeah, bro, uh, all these rappers, right? It's cool to yeah. rap, steal, kill. Hell no. Nah. You're gonna be a crash dummy, right? You're gonna crash out, you're gonna throw your life away, yeah. and you're, you're gonna miss out, bro. What Mozzie said, I can't afford to go to jail. Them niggas losing out. Yeah, losing out. You feel me? But one thing I do wanna touch up on when it came to the. Damn, man. I... And when it came to um, let's backtrack a bit because I remember you said a key point right there. Living, let's like, read. Don't don't take nothing nothing personal. Don't take nothing Forgive. personal. Forgive. Always say thank you. Always say you know? thank you. And then being a square, look. This and is being a, square, bear. Okay, you know? look. Being square. Don't you let your ego get in the way by you thinking that you square. Okay, now, that's a bad type of mentality of ego trip that you should have. Your ego will get in the way from you saying that I don't need this job because the streets, I got a better reputation on it. And I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen with people like, man, fuck this job, bro. I'll get paid more in the streets or this and that. Or, bro, that's your ego getting in the way. If you can't conduct yourself into an actual life, bro, are you really willing or deserving to become a millionaire or a billionaire? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not willing to sacrifice all that stuff, and actually be humble for a bit. If you really want to talk about like, oh yeah, like I'm really that nigga or, or this and that. No, you're not. If it comes to terms of you not being able to fucking wake up and go to work, you know what I mean? And just cause you're, you're gonna let your pride and your ego get in the way. Cause nah, nigga, I'm from the streets and this was what's gonna happen. Like, or I'm gonna go do this. And for the youngsters out there, cause we are gonna transition into talking about the new generation. I want to say this. Just like how Cyrus said, you get in a fight, you fight someone, you knock someone out. It really does not matter. And I used to live with that thing like, nah, it doesn't matter. But the moment it did matter, I fucked them up. Or at the moment it did matter because I got to get mine. Because that's feeding your ego, right? Exactly. Now, let's take that ego, right? And this is one thing that I, I firmly do believe. Let's take that ego... And let's transfer it to all them other people that got in the situations that are locked up. So now when you go into getting locked up and you're in a cell, you're dealing with a bunch of people that do got a lot of egos. And guess what? Egos tend to clash a lot all the time. 
why you think there's always rights and shits in prisons, bro? Because one person wants to talk about something, but someone's ego is getting in the way. And then next thing you know, you got some shit going down. You know what I mean? But on top of that, I say this. Anybody that knows what a crash dummy is and they still take pride in that, you're really a fool. You are really a fool. And you really got to tighten up because without any like accountability of knowing like, all right, man, like this is what's going on. Nowadays, one thing I notice is that everybody is not like the money's like whatever yeah, it's sucking when it comes into popularity now the first thing that comes in popularity is like niggas trying to act like they're robbers and killers and drillers like having their mask on mobbing around everywhere like acting like people are watching over them and all that shit you take pride in being scared you know what i'm saying you take pride in being scared because in all reality let's go back to the base of it when people hide it's because they're scared. It doesn't mean because they don't want to be seen this and that. When you are in public and you have the ability to do whatever you want, right? And if that means that I have to be a square to do that, don't you think that's a real nigga move to do? You know what I mean? Instead of me constantly living in a ski mask on and having a hoodie over my head and bumming it out, hanging out with people that really don't have nothing going on and you really can't be comfortable around and talk about anything you know what i mean like that's the new generation that's man. the new generation is very lonely bro mm -hmm. well, like you're gonna you're gonna do you're gonna catch a fade you're gonna shoot someone all that for what five minutes of fame and then what you know what i mean and let me get a little deeper with that right so with your mind your mind's a magnet right and your energy's a magnet oh yeah so one thing right say say you thinking like yeah man i'm i'm listening to these, these songs and I'm, I'm i'm in that mood you feel me i'm this that, and then third that's what you're gonna get right you, you feel me if, if you if your mind's full of like oh you trying to duck and dodge this person whatever or you, you don't want to go that soon because there's a problem whatever case may be that's what you're going to attract right yeah but if you you're positive like you know what god got me and like my play partner right here says in his religion they say everything's written and everything's connected you feel me so with that being said it's like all right well let me live peacefully let me let me just have a great mindset let me be positive and nothing with being positive bro it don't mean just being happy all the time positive means like okay i'm having a shitty day but all right let, let me let me count my blessings now you feel mm -hmm. me let me be more grateful because gratitude determines your latitude, yeah. and we hide in the motherfucking and fly in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. First thing you do, you should do when you wake up, get things to God. No, it's exactly. facts, it's facts, it's facts. One thing, if you, if, all right, there's one thing I noticed too. The young generation take they take pride in who got the most bodies, who killed who, and who who could scam and who could do all that. You got to realize more, yeah. who's pushing it and this and that. You have to realize that all that all that stuff that you, you're seeking after, even though it looks like like it's joyful, you're taking joy when the and when the root when the root like and it, this takes a lot of like actual like I'm not trying to be spiritual on that the root of that stuff that you're taking joy in is evil, it's actually evil. So if you're comfortable with evil, that means that you're comfortable with Satan. And you know if you listen to all these rappers on like I got demons on me and all that, people take pride in it like yeah I got demons. People don't understand my problems and all this and that. But guess what, man? That's a problem you're going to have to hang out with for the rest of your life just because you want to make that the decision and that choice that you, like, think about it. If you're willingly able to give in to that which is evil, then surely you are a loser, bro. Because if you know right from wrong enough to know that this is evil and this is bad, why would you want to stay in it? Why would you want to obtain that and stick with that? It's foolish. It's really foolish to me. And anyone that has a right mind and really doesn't want to be a boss and all that knows that that's not a boss move. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't want to live with demons in your head. You wouldn't want to live with negativity around you. You wouldn't want to live. If you take pride in that, you're a sick man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're sick in the head. Like, you really, you want to be around yeah. something that you can't have control over? Oh, and another thing I was, okay. You're not your mind, your thoughts, or your emotions. You're just an observer of them, right? And one thing you told me, right, uh, with bad thoughts, you, you want to speak on that one? 
with and it applies with your religion. And when you put me onto that, bro, my life changed, bro. Oh, uh, what's a what's a what's a what's a so a lot of stuff like this is what I mean, like. Me just because I'm following this book doesn't mean that I'm gonna implement it like it's like it's my religion. I implement what my religion teaches me because I'm Muslim, and then I I connect make connections into this book onto the real life basis. You know what I mean? From Islam, you know what I mean? Because this has a lot of stuff to do with Islam. Like they talk about ego and all that, and ego and it's it's crazy because ego, ego like just because I said there's good and bad ego, but ego does derive from Satan. It does derive from Satan because. Like when people are racist and all, it's an ego problem. Mm. You know what I mean? It's ego. Like racism has to do with ego. It's like all classism has to do with ego. It's like my race is better than yours. Exactly. Type. But the what's the what's essentially what it is is when you get faced with a cal calamity or anything throughout the day, someone cuts me off in traffic. You know what I'm saying? I get a whisper. Like you know how people be like, oh, like it's it's funny because a lot of people like you see on TikTok. There, there's like a meme that's like, oh, if you're um, what is it called you're walking by walmart and the little voice in my head just tells me to knock down everything down the aisle yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> a lot of people are like ah, oh, like yeah just want to just max some shit or just fuck some shit up real quick and all that but that that's what what's what's from from satan a lot of people take like laughs off that shit you know what i'm saying like but it's actually like you don't know that that's like little evil like like whispers you're getting you know what i mean like so what's the what's the it's gonna come to you time like every day it can happen time to time. Every day, yeah. Every day. Sure, but I say once it, an hour. It's up it's up <laughs> to you on God, it's up to you to like uh how do you say realize it, what it is. Identify it. Identify yeah. it and realizing it from there know what you wanna do with it. You know what I'm saying? So like for me my what's the what's it could be like, man, this court thing's taking too long and all that, like, you know, screw it, I'm not gonna go to court. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't, if you don't allow me, if if you cool with me saying if I could use you for example, yeah, so before I went to court, uh, after I went to court, I call up Scoop and I tell Scoop, you know, we're gonna get this podcast going. I tell Scoop, hey man, don't you got court too? He's like, yeah. He's like, hey man, just go. You never know what's gonna happen. You know, Scoop's ego could have gotten away. And Scoop's like, nah, man, screw that. Cause yeah, fuck that, the officer that give me, you know what I'm saying, this and there, all that shit, you know what I mean? Those negative but, thoughts is the whispers. Now watch yeah. this, you know how we talk about energy can be transferred. I if I would've came oh, yeah, through. Yeah, real quick, I'm gonna touch on that. En ahead. Energy can't be created nor destroyed, it can only be transferred. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, if I would've came through, even though I had this good news that my, like everything went, went cool mm -hmm. in court. If I would have came through, I moped out because I'm tired and all that. And I'm telling, hey, man, you just got to go to court. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nah. I can't go. Hey, school, bro. What's going on, bro? You really got to go to court, bro. Because, nah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, this is, you know what I'm saying? This is cool. You know what I mean? And that energy can be transferred. And let me tell you something about the young bucks, bro. Like, if y'all can't do that type of stuff with, like, with each other and all that, then really you can't be comfortable around the people hanging around with. You can't call each other's brothers and all that. That's if another great topic of uh, your circle, right? You don't want to be the smartest in your circle. You want to be the dumbest in your circle, right? And shout out Journey Games. Oh, shout out Journey Games, bro. Said, you're doing your thing. He said, you're the average of the 10 people you kick it with, right? So going back to like the, uh, okay, all my partners, right? We we Now we got fun with these other people. You feel me? And that's all we're talking about. You feel me? That's going to be your circle. That's what's going to. Now, you, now when you're away from them, that's all you're going to be thinking about. Instead of having the circle like us, where it's nothing but progress, not perfection. We we talking about the future. We we game planning. You feel me? We talk yeah. about how self development, how we become better. That's the circle you want to be in. You feel and me? It's not it's not for the for the weak man. Because I notice that when you try to give a lot of people their weak that type of like free game, they take it as offensive because their ego gets in the way. And then from there they're gonna they're gonna put their own spin on whatever they want to say. And they could even turn into you clashing heads with people. So one thing, one thing I want to say from the PNP podcast, like if you're already implementing those things, don't go around approaching other people trying to change them. You know what I mean? Yeah. A, a real person that wants change is gonna seek it out from you. Yeah. Don't go like walking in the, amongst a circle that is already close knit and trying to get into that circle. And I made that mistake countless times. So. Don't don't do that, and don't always. And one thing when it comes to your ego and all that, and your persona, 
if you're someone that constantly wants to seek validation from other people, then you really don't truly love yourself. And you have to take that into accountability because I used to be one of them people that if I do this and that, maybe this person will like me or maybe maybe I'll be looked at a certain type of way and that's ego. Because at the end of the day, you can't deny anything that you're doing. A lot of people are like, oh, I had to do it because I come from this block and I'm like, no, you didn't. You didn't have to do that shit, bro. You really didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't got to go hit that lick. I didn't have to go do all that shit. I chose to, because to be completely honest and take accountability, I wanted to seem cool. I wanted to seem like, oh, yeah, like this this dude stands on business, and that's not the right type of business I want to stand on. We want to stand on some real business. I want to like stand on an actual play, business, you know? dude. Like, talk, talk to me about a IRA or talk to me about how to develop, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. some type of secure income for mm -hmm. my family. Like, you know, how do I make this LLC work? You know, you know what I'm saying? one thing I noticed about this new generation, uh, my little homie, um, I stay trying to give him advice, you know, don't follow my, my footsteps, all that. And then it just goes one ear out the other, you know? Oh, that's another thing for the young generation, right? Remember I told you this other day, I said, you got to close your mouth and open your ears and speak or, or listen, listen more, more than you speak, ears. right? That's what you and also, ears. also, you have to be a sponge, right? You can't, you can't be, let the ego get in the way, like you said, and be resistant to it, right? You're going to get gain from life. You don't get gain from other people. You don't get gain from the best teacher in life is experience, right? And everything, like, in, in your uh, religion, right, you, you guys say life is a test, right? Yeah. Life is a test. And the real paradise is in heaven, right? So you're going to be tested throughout all, all your whole life, right? But make sure you learn from it so you don't do the same mistakes. You feel me? over and over and over because if you don't learn from your mistakes it's gonna be like a damn what's them doors bro where it just keeps going around doors. yeah oh yeah I'm <laughs> talking about let me let me add on to that and let me add on to this there's two things i want to touch up on before we leave one thing is in order for you to listen more it has to do with a lot of holding your tongue because and I'll take, I'll take responsibility when it comes to this. When someone's telling you something, take it for what it is instead of you saying that I could have said it better or I could have put my twist on it. And the young generation, I noticed that when I'm dealing with them. And it's crazy because this, this is what we do as, as people that come from a lot of knowledge. You know what I mean? Like, because we have a lot of knowledge. And I like to say I have a lot of knowledge, but not enough knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Not enough lot knowledge, but a lot of knowledge. Always a student. You know what I'm saying? So one thing I, I peep game on, like let's say if persona. When I'm talking to a lot of young generation, I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to their persona and, and their, their ego and their psychology. And the reason why I say that is because when I talk to them, it's like, hey, how you doing? They don't. Hesi like they hesitate by saying that I'm doing fine. Yeah. They got to end up going like, oh, it's all good. You feel me though? I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And that's yeah. the thing with men. We grew up where we can't, if we crying, oh, quack like little bitch. Yeah. Or, or hold your feelings in, right? Yeah, it's your emotion. But luckily with our circle, right, we're able to, as a unit, be like, nah, let's, let's start expressing our feelings. Let's start being in tune. Because if not, we gon' what we do is gonna carry on to our sons. You feel me? The next generation, the next, and we're we're the ones who break this generational curse, bro. Like for real. And one thing too, to the young generation, y'all gotta kill your ego and persona. Be true to yourself and always be real. You feel me? Who you are is and what you're gonna be. And to touch on what you said, on what you said, you know, a lot of fights can be avoided by just conversation. You feel me, people man. don't know the power of conversation man. it takes a small conversation to like i'm pretty sure but, all of us have people that yeah. we're probably i don't know funky with suppose i don't know but, but i'm talking all it takes is one conversation yeah. to sit down and see eye to eye talk yeah. out the differences and then they'll smooth but most people ego and psychology that's what i was going to say that's what i'm saying like you can't if you're going to have a conversation but by that what we mean is all three of us are saying 
a conversation person to person, not conversation persona with persona. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I know it's one thing I'm not trying to diss no gang members or none of that. I done been around some gang members and all that. And when I meet these dudes, and it's funny because I done had a situation happen. I'm not trying to name drop nothing, none of that shit. And it's, it's as simple as me going, what's going on, man? How you doing? You know what I'm saying? You doing good? And uh, me going like, what's up, bro? Fires, West Side Union City, bro. Nice to meet you, though. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking, you're not talking to me. You're talking to the persona. Yeah. You're talking to the ego. Exactly. You know what I mean? You're not talking to the human. The, the and one thing self. I noticed that when you try to talk to someone, their true self, and this is something that the young bucks really need to take accountability on. If you got to use your persona to make up for any t type of conversation, you're not really true to yourself and you haven't really realized who you are. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that, all that who who can seem the most ghetto or who seems like they the most hardest and shit. Man, if you doing that for some females or whatever, bro, guess what, bro? She a thought. <laughs> there ain't nothing going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be cool for a little bit, but guess what? Even thoughts become our ends at one point, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they won't realize that that shit ain't gonna take them far, you know what I'm saying? So, you really gotta take in consideration, like, what you're doing. I'm I'm not saying that we already fully, like, mastermind this shit. I didn't, you know what I mean? Shit, I, I have it. I have it. But, but I'm gonna say that I'm, I'm happy to where I become and anyone that's like in the younger generation bro honestly bro screw that whole high school phase bro if i was y'all bro honestly if i had a time reverse like button hop into a trade school or something bro or going going to something like i wish i do it bro i wish i was doing that shit earlier oh another thing even though you felt like you was late better late than never no no that's facts that's facts that's facts that's facts but i'm saying like and i'll say this is crazy because i just i was in the court and i was talking i was talking to someone you know what I'm saying? And I was talking to the OG first. It was a Pakistan, some Pakistani people. I, I was like, oh, y'all Muslim? Like, yeah, nah, you know what I'm saying? I'll give my salams. Yeah. But then they was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm Pashtun, but they, they Pakistani Pashtun. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know their language. I don't even know my, my Pashtun language that much. But yeah. when when I was talking to the Paz, I was cool. And I seen the son. The son, he sees me. You know what I mean? I'm like stretching out, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this one thing. It's your shadow. My shadow still emits that was someone that is ghetto like someone that is low-key what's some type of activity when i'm in essentially not even trying to be there you know what i mean yeah. so he's seen that and the kid was chilling before he seen me when i was sitting down in the court you know what i'm saying and then afterward the kid when he seen that and and, it, and i noticed this because back then i'd be like oh yeah it is what it is we from the bay is how it goes and all that. no bro you go wherever you want to in the world when someone sees that shit and that energy goes back to that person they're gonna try to emit that shit so he's seen that so what does he feel inclined to do start acting a little ghetto pulling up his pants walking around put his beanie on you know what I'm saying go walking back and forth and all that while i'm talking to the pops i'm talking to a formable manner to og like oh how you doing like how's everything like oh you guys are like no one's that's good i'll get my salons to the bro the bro while they can you know what I mean? But then, as I'm talking, you know, you head on all that, you're certain dresses that you do, he feels inclined to bring out his ghetto side, you know what I mean? And I noticed right then and there, all right, I fucked up, I fucked up, you know what I'm saying? I gotta take accountability a little bit, you know what I mean? Because there's something about me that I'm still doing that's causing people to trigger this type of way, you know what I mean? Yeah. So he talks to me, he's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And where where is the conversation go? Lo and behold, it's the funny part. Hey, bro, you went to high school around here? High school mentality. I combat that with, hey, how old are you, man? You know what I'm saying? Not, I, hell yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga, I went to Logan, nigga, you know what I'm saying? How old are you, bro? You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, I'm 19, by the time. Oh, that's good, man. You go to college and all that, you know what I mean? Slowly but surely, I'm breaking down that wall that he built up. And, and I'm actually I don't talking know about. New, bro. But subconsciously, without you even trying, you identified that you was dealing with somebody's psychology and ego. You feel me? Yeah. To where you was able to play the way you played it, which is a positive way, bro. Because you could have been peeping like, oh, why, bro, why you pulling with your... Like, what's up? You feel me? That type of energy. But it's like, you know, prevention is key, like we always talk about. And, and a lot of people I know is in the way I take it, 
I couldn't let my ego get in the way. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like back then, everything would be like, yeah, man, I went to, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I'm talking like, yeah, I went to Logan. You know what I mean? But I don't, it's the way that you project mm -hmm. your speech. You know, like, yeah, bro, I went to Logan and adding on extras for no reason. A lot of that adding on extras for no reason going to get you in positions that you don't want to be in oh, my whole entire life. Hey, I, I, here's some game, bro. When you talk to somebody, a stranger, they only know as much as you tell them, bro. Straight up, they only, and that's with the police too. <laughs> they only know as much as you tell them, right? So if you you say had you been like, yeah, I went to Logan, I'm locked in with this guy. What if he didn't like that guy? Why do you? So you know that's man? where Why the prevention. You, you keep it minimal. You feel me? You peep game, and just let it be. And there's no need for you to be extra with anything, bro. And that's one thing I want to say about the new generation before we leave off. And if we want to add anything, or you do. You don't have to be extra, bro. And you have nothing to prove to nobody, bro. All these people shit, eat, sleep the same as you. And you trying to chase a girl and all that stuff. And honestly, and I'm going to say this, bro. If you chasing, if you chasing worldly possessions and all that, you surely are a loser. You know what I mean? You have to let those possessions come to you by right, not by force. And you doing all that, you're forcing your breakaway through all this stuff. And nothing is going to ever be nice when it comes to being forced. You know what I mean? So it's not natural. It's not natural. It's mm -hmm. not going to happen, bro. I can't just try to bit the car and break into it and all that. Now I got to pay for the repairs and it's still not going to be what it was in originally how it was supposed to be. Just, but Right now in my life, I'm just trying to build organic relationships. You know? No, nah, exactly, bro. Exactly. Relationships. That's a good one. And one, the main relationship we all need to build is with God. It's with God, bro. With God, for real. Because most people subconsciously they gonna get them bad thoughts and then what's the whistle is the whispers, right? Yeah. And they gonna entertain it and nine times out of ten they don't even know it's the whispers, right? It took you to tell me that and now I'm identifying it and I'm looking back in the past like, oh shit, that was the whispers, right? Yeah. But yeah, just get close to God, you feel me? Just focus on family, focus on everything positive, you feel me? Because the positive always gonna outweigh the negative. You know what I mean? Anybody else got anything to say? Don't hop in no relationship without getting your relationship close with God first. Because that's gonna be the structure on how to carry any other else. Like any other any other relationship. Like to break it down it's like this. If your relationship's not good with God, then you're not gonna be able or suitable to have any other relationship with other people. Cause that mm -hmm. that spiritual the spiritual connection that you need first in order to evaluate other people in life, oh. it's only going to get granted to being close with God. And you so. can't love somebody if you don't love yourself. You feel me? Yes. Yeah. And going true. back to the, it's the shadow work. Do your shadow work before you ever get in a relationship. You feel me? Like, get yourself right. You feel me? Yeah. Even with a job, you know, like they're going to give you a higher position. You got to do some shadow work within yourself so you're able to do that position to the best of your ability. And, and don't look at anything for, um, I want to say face value. Yeah, face value. Don't look at anything for face value. And it's just something that I'm going to just throw out there. Don't don't get into a relationship with a girl or any any type of relationship because they, they look a certain way, they look attractive. And I'm not just saying attractive like physically. I'm talking about any like group of people. Like all the, It looks attractive to me. What benefits does it give to you? That's it. I always say that, like, the ben the benefits to anything. What benefits does it allow you to have? How's it going to benefit you? How's it going to benefit you? If it don't benefit you, then... If it ain't beneficial, it's artificial. It's artificial, bro. So, that's about it. That's just it, man. Y'all stay in tune, bro. Y'all y'all keep up. You know what I'm saying? Keep up with whatever y'all doing and all that. You know what I'm saying? Just don't settle down for less. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Know your worth. Know your mother worth. Keep God in your life. Kill the ego, the persona, all that. Be your true self. Yeah. You feel me? Don't take nothing personal. Uh, arrive with love and leave a great impression, right? That, that, that's something I came up with a couple years ago. I always want to arrive with love and leave yeah. a great impression. You feel me? Because you don't ever want, like, even with family members or friends, like, you don't want to be the last thing that happened was oh shit it was a little argument or a fight you know what i mean yeah. 
Yeah. Can I say a quick little story? Yeah. So, yeah. so um, you know how you just said uh, first impression right away, leaving mm -hmm. your first impression. So I got this promotion at my job. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and I got yeah, yeah. it through working with this lady, right? My first time working with her. And she calls me and she's like, you know, it was great working with you. I want to recommend you to work over here, which is a big, bigger payday for me and all that. Hell yeah. So it's just, you know, you got to leave great first impressions and stay blessed, man. And it's, thank it's God, because God positioned that for you. you feel yes. me? That was God. Yes. Every, everything in life, bro. He put her on my path. Yes. Everybody yes. crossed paths for a reason. Like, yeah. you feel me? That's why it goes back to the relationship. Relationship with God great relationship with people because you never uh og told me you never know who you're talking to yeah. oh that's bad you, you never, never know, who you're know. Talking to. like for you example, don't know who's in boss you don't know who's the boss in going Boston. back to your example about how you could have hella change but you're talking to somebody in regular clothes right let's look at the billionaires like you feel me like of the ceo company they they wearing walmart yeah, like shit elon you feel musk he's not even like wearing chains yeah. or anything he just, he, mark zuckerberg out here yeah, wearing I mean, civilian clothes the young the young uh, the young mentality the young bucks they think like this that's, that's it bro they just want that that, that chain they want to do whatever for chain they want the, the those rings seen. the chain you want to be seen and be all loud bro yeah, and you know and i'm not trying to be fucked up you know who wants to be seen the most bro think about it who wants to be seen the most bro a thought you know what i'm saying like yeah. you're putting yourself in the same category just the male version of a female whore bro and what, the what, thought what ain't always a female what we always say? <laughs> we say these niggas is bitches and these bitches oh these niggas is bitches and these bitches is hoes man <laughs> i just know how to switch it up like i'm wearing clean clothes you feel me? <laughs> I'm out. I'm out, out, bro. It was good talking to y'all, man. I appreciate yeah, all yeah. these conversations. I appreciate you because I, I get knowledge from every conversation that we have, and I always leave uh, with something greater. You know bro, what I'm saying? I love y'all, bro. I love y'all for a second. Yeah. Long, man. So, I hope. Yeah. I hope that whoever's watching this and whoever's gonna watch it actually does gain some knowledge because it, it's the whole purpose of this is that we're going through this journey in life yeah. and this progress is not perfection. And I really want us as a whole to cater to anybody that can really grasp this stuff anybody, man. and take it in you know what i mean and that's just it man with I, that being said i feel like we apply to all ages mm -hmm. be old, oh, yeah. be young. the game we get bro is universal bro yeah. it, it, it applies to any circumstances yeah. any age bro any whatever it, it applies in every aspect of life bro and one thing i'm gonna say this is an accountability if i said anything in this whole entire time that we've been talking that offended someone or felt some type of way, I truly do apologize. That was never my intention. Yeah. That's that. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, maybe you can give us some game that we don't know about, mm -hmm. you know? Because we sponges, and man. We always open to everything, you know, open minded people. So, and with that, um, see you guys next time. Yeah, your boy man. Scoop out, Chris. Boy Cyrus out. Hell yeah, your boy Fosman. Y'all stay up, bro. Yes, sir. Smooth.